Hey, what's up guys? It's Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today. And we're going to talk about a little intestinal issue that hits a lot of reptiles, but more specifically, we find the issue hitting leopard geckos. It's called cryptosporidiosis. Now, before we get into that, Make sure right here in this corner, if you see that right there, is the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that. If you have not already, if you have, we appreciate you following along week after week after week. All right, so let's get right into this. Cryptosporidiosis, or crypto for short, is a intestinal parasite essentially on steroids, okay? It, it's, called a, it's called a type of disease or a virus, okay? Cryptosporidiosis is a type of intestinal virus, uh, but it's not curable, okay? So it can be treated to levels of which keeping the, the, the levels of intestinal load under control, but it's never cured and it is fatal. It is contagious. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a minute. Uh, I'm not gonna go through a whole long drawn out process of cryptosporidiosis, it'd take me quite a while. Uh, we're just going to give some overview about it and, and uh, a little bit of uh, in-depth uh, information about it in just a short period of time, okay? Uh, but again, I want you to understand, if your leopard tests positive for crypto, uh, you need to keep it quarantined permanently for the rest of its life because it can transmit that to other geckos. And once they contract it, there is no cure for it, okay? Uh, again, uh, intestinal treatments can be given uh, to the animals to keep the load somewhat manageable, but ultimately the animal is gonna succumb at some point in time. With these now, guys and where crypto comes from, uh, crypto was infected uh, through oral, by fecal transmission or by in infested food or water contaminated water bowls uh, or food through fecal, okay? Uh, understand nine times out of 10 where you're gonna find crypto coming from is your pet store bought, uh, big chain pet store bought uh, leopard geckos, okay? Understand that. Generally speaking, when somebody has a private collection and they're, they're breeding privately, we don't really find it too often in those. Uh, we generally find uh, the crypto more prevalent inside of your big chain pet store bought animals. In leopard geckos is known as two things. One, it can be called the stick tail, okay? As you see right here, stick tail. Right here you see this leopard gecko. <clears throat> This leopard gecko has this nice fat tail, just like the African fat tail gecko. Both the leopard gecko and the, and the African fat tail gecko store their fat inside of their tail. A good healthy gecko is gonna have a nice fat broad tail. Uh, as you've seen in the picture, uh, the stick tail or cryptosporidium will cause what's known as the wasting disease uh, or stick tail, uh, which essentially, here's the way that that works. When you have an infected animal, <clears throat> Let's start from the beginning of the life cycle of the cryptosporidium. What happens, oocyst or an egg is passed by fecal into either the water dish or into the enclosure and the gecko walks through it. It wasn't cleaned out fast enough, walks through it, uh, goes and walks through their food, goes and walks through their water. They drink it. <clears throat> there in turn, they ingest the egg or the oocyst. Okay. Then once inside the oocyst nutriates, the egg becomes nutriated, meaning it takes a lot of nutrition from the animal, from the food that the animal's taking in, which causes it to course like anything else, it causes it to grow, causes it to form. As the cryptosporidium virus starts to grow, it attaches itself <clears throat> to the walls, therein essentially swelling. As it becomes nutriated again, as it takes the nutrients, again, the swelling is it actually getting the nutrients and absorbing the nutrients from what the animal is eating and leaving this animal with nothing. So in turn, while the virus itself is swelling from the nutrients, this guy right here is gonna be getting skinnier and skinnier and skinnier and skinnier because he's not getting any of the nutrients from the cryptosporidium virus. So let's talk about of crypto that really affects uh, the reptiles most heavily. One is crypto sorophyllum or cryptosporidium sorophyllum. The other one is crypto serpentis or cryptosporidium serpentis. Okay, so crypto serpentis is a gastric type parasite and crypto sorophyllum is an intestinal type of parasite. So it affects, one affects one and one affects the other. Cryptosorphyllum, generally speaking, affects the lizards, where Cryptoserpentis affects more of your snakes. 
Okay, so I want to be clear on this. There is absolutely no cure for this, okay? Again, there is treatments, intestinal treatments, that can keep the loads of, uh, of the virus under somewhat control. Uh, but if you have a breeding colony uh, or you have a large amount of just collected leopard geckos, uh, it's good to have the, them tested from time to time, good to have them checked. Uh, because again, I want you to understand also, just because you have something showing up that might present as crypto. It may just be simply an intestinal parasite, tapeworm, pinworm, could be anything, okay? Uh, could be other uh, bacterial gastrointestinal issues. Uh, it may not always be cryptosporidium, but understand crypto will present just like uh, intestinal parasites a lot of the times in the fact of loss of weight, regurgitation, uh, excessively loose stools, excessively smelly stools, uh, which are a huge, huge indicator that uh, your animal has uh, intestinal parasites. So just because, remember, just because you, you see signs that, that lead to crypto does not necessarily mean that the animal has crypto. But again, inside of a breeding colony, uh, anytime something new comes in, it should definitely go through a quarantine period. It should definitely be uh, checked. And especially in these guys, because just like we did the video on adenovirus and bearded dragons, adeno is becoming very, very prevalent and crypto is becoming very prevalent inside of, uh, inside of the, the leopard gecko and reptile community. Uh, because what What's happening is a lot of people are going into these cheap, uh, cheap little leopard geckos from these uh, stupid pet stores, and they're coming in infected, and they're taking and breeding them with good ones, or they're mixing them in with good, healthy, quality bred geckos, and now that chain just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. And a lot of the times, it takes a while before they show the ugly signs. Okay, so understand that if you have an infected animal, you pair it with another, uh, another animal, it's gonna get infected. And then if they're paired off or they're put anywhere near where other ones are and then they're sold, now it's starting to spread kind of like wildfire, okay? doesn't mean it runs rampant. No, it can be it can be kept under control. It's just the main thing is we need to make sure and you need to make sure with inside of whatever you get, wherever you get it, uh, that the chance of crypto is not there. Uh, so that you don't, for one thing, you don't infect the rest of your uh, your colony or any of your other leopard geckos uh, or fat tail geckos that you have with inside collection. Your... Okay, so this is just a overview. It's not a full on care and how to treat, how to deal with video. Um, it's just a just a good overview video. If you have any questions, certainly get with us in the information below. The description below is going to have the zoo and medical centers information. Uh, we've been dealing with this kind of stuff for quite a few years now. It's been uh, it's been quite prevalent uh, in the reptile community for about the last three to four years, but it's it, it's been there for. For a little while and uh, and we've been dealing with and teaching about it for for a little a little amount of time <clears throat> now Again, this is cryptosporidiosis, or crypto for short, in leopard geckos, more specifically in leopard geckos, uh, known as the stick tail disease. Uh, again, we appreciate you following along. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, hit that bell for notifications. And uh, we appreciate, again, you following along week after week after week. Uh, again, our information will be in the description below. Feel free to leave comments. Uh, feel free to get with us in the, uh, uh, in the description if you need our assistance. Uh, make sure to write us in. Let us know other things you want us to film about, uh, what you want us to uh, uh, do videos on, whether medical conditions, whether how to deal with something, uh, feeding good, bad, otherwise, the zoo here, whatever the case may be. Uh, and again, this is Chad. We are the Reptile Rangers. We are the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. We'll either see you on the next episode or we'll see you here at the zoo. Later.